Brandon Olsen, age 23, fighting on a CSA, weighing at 150 pounds, with a record of one and one, fighting out of Nick Diaz gym, out there in Dublin, California. Young Predator J fighting out of his gym tonight, entering the Dragon House cage. Brandon Olsen. Yeah, Brandon Olsen, definitely an explosive fighter. Well-rounded, uh, doesn't matter where the fight goes. Whether it's standing or on the mat, he knows exactly what he's doing and he can handle himself either way it goes. So um, this should be a good matchup here. Live streaming, wait, streaming live at brightwindcastvideos.com. <laughs> Well, that, that's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Both fighters are in the cage. Both fighters are screwing each other off. They're looking ready. Both fighters First are ready. The they're finally he's here. And they're... Three years old. He fights for CSA and the Nick Diaz Academy. His professional record is one and one. He is Brandon the Livermore Liriper. Is his name the liver boy or delivery boy? Which one was it? It sounded like the liver boy, but you know what? That could be delivery boy. His opponent, <laughs> 29 years old, fights for Train for Life out of Sassoon, California. His professional record is one and three. Cesar Cubby Gonzalez. So we have here Olsen in the blue corner and Gonzalez in the red corner. Both fighters are in the center of the cage. Both fighters showing respect to each other. Olsen in the blue, blue corner. Gonzalez in the red corner. Gonzalez with a nice inside leg kick. And a nice one, two straight down the middle of Olsen. Olsen yet to throw a strike, but there he goes. With a front kick and showboat in. Already. Typical from the DS camp, they like to show boats a lot. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Nick Diaz, Nate Diaz. Some of the oh. pioneers of the sport though, man. Definitely, definitely. Take nothing away from them. Oh, nice overhand right lands there by Gonzalez. Nice push kick by Olsen. Olsen, more the longer range fighter. But nice inside kick by, by, by Gonzalez and a nice right hand by Gonzalez as well. Nice that kick by Olsen. Gonzalez goes to the body, to the liver of the delivery boy or liver boy. <laughs> Nice outside kick by Gonzalez. So far, a great stand-up matchup, uh, back and forth. Looking like a chess match in there. A bleak kick to a nice, nice body kick, body, body punch by Gonzalez, I should say. Olsen goes to the body as well. And, and Gonzalez comes with the 1-2 and the leg kick to finish and the inside leg kick as well. Yeah, Gonzalez got some nice combinations. Mixing it up with the hands and the leg kicks. Olsen is still trying to play mind games, taunting Gonzalez, but Gonzalez is showing, yo, I'm here to fight. Just Swinging and miss by Gonzalez. Big kick to the knee, misses. Very technical fight here by both fighters. Gonzalez with the lead, lead inside kick. 
Gonzalez backs, backs up Olsen to the cage. Olsen giving his back to Gonzalez. Olsen is out. You can see on the, the left, the backside of the left leg of, of, Olsen, of Olsen, you can see some whales from the leg kicks of Gonzalez and another leg kick by Gonzalez working that, that left leg. Forcing, forcing Olsen to switch stance. Yeah, Olsen's definitely uh, eating some very heavy leg kicks. Olsen with a nice head. Olsen is a nice one too. Catching Gonzalez, Gonzalez smiles. Normally when they smile, it means you, you got them good. Yeah. With a Superman punch by Gonzalez, and Gonzalez smiles and says, yeah, well, I'm here to fight. Wow, what a fight. Very technical fight. Nice, nice body kick. Oh, I, Gonz Gonzalez takes takes Olsen down to the ground and lands some every ground and pound. But but Olsen goes for a knee bar. Can he get it? Looking for a heel hook here. What Gonzalez needs to do is step over, but he's doing some nice elbows to the to the calf, to the back to the back calf of uh, of Olsen. But Olsen is going. He's trying to go for an ankle lock, but Gonzalez turns around. Olsen is going for the for 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 an ankle lock. Reverse it, Great getting snap. on top position. Wow. Great work by Olsen. Great Gonzalez is Brandon. now recovered into his into his guard. Ten seconds. What a first round. It's been a back and forth first definitely, round. Definitely, definitely. It's been a good fight. Olsen was able to reverse the situation there towards the end of that round. Not and sure if he did enough. You know what? I'm not sure. That's going to be a very hard round for the judges. To score I, th too. I think I, I, I'm leaning to Gonzalez. Gonzalez was, was peppering Olsen with the leg kicks, caught him with some nice punches going in. And uh, he got a takedown, but it's a quick reversal by, uh, by Olsen. So I'm leading to like a 10, a, a 10, a 10, nine round going to uh Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to agree with to you Gonzalez. There. Very well said there. Um, Gonzalez was the more superior striker in that first round. So the judges might look at that and uh, score this round in favor of Cesar Gonzalez. Whether it's take Cesar Gonzalez to the ground or switch up his, his stand up. Um, Stand-up techniques, whatever it is, he's got to figure something out here in the second round. Olsen needs to be more more of an offensive fighter. He's waiting on on Gonzalez to come in and counter fight him. But Gonzalez is having having good good success with being the counter fighter, being first and last yeah. to attack. Nice Superman punch stepping in. There's nothing wrong with being patient, but uh, Brian Olsen might be just a little too patient. Here we go. Cesar Gonzalez is just full of confidence, and that is something you don't want your opponent to have while using that cage. I don't see Olsen you know, mocking Caesar anymore. I guess Caesar had shown him like this is a fight. Your mind games can't play on me. You can't play your mind games on me. But but Olsen is coming back. And Caesar has him up to the cage. A looks nice like, pressure. Yeah, looks like Olsen's got that overhook on the left arm of Caesar. Let's it go. He's got to be careful here because uh, Caesar. Oh, Gonzalez has has the back. Beautiful knee. Olsen tries to reverse roll, and he got it. He got it. Nice reversal there by Brandon Olsen. Now he's is in half guard, and now he's he's going for the back of of. Of Gonzalez sinking in the throat. Does, does he have it? No, but he ends up in full mount. Now this is this is this is what Olsen needs. He needs to be in a dominant position and he needs to start landing strikes. He needs to start start creating some damage on on on, on Gonzalez. He's got to create some space. 
Gonzalez is doing a good job of uh, tying him up there. Keeping his posture down. That, yeah. the, Gonzalez is doing this perfect job of, of, of doing that. Not allowing Olsen to, to get off his striking. Attempt at a uh, bump and roll there. But he gave his back. And now Olsen has both hooks in and he's going to attack the neck. He might have it. No. Caesar. He's a little too high. And Olsen is attempting to go for an armbar, but now Olsen's in danger because Gonzalez is raining blows from the top, sharp punches and elbows, grinding Olsen out, softening Olsen in the up. Olsen keeps trying to go for that armbar, but I really believe Gonzalez is way too sweaty to pull off a submission. Gonzalez is doing a good job of keeping top position and raining blows. The referee's right there. Knees. And there we go. Landing the elbows. The referee's tying Austin to defend himself. And see, L and Gonzalez go for a takedown, mixing it up. Raining blows. This could be the end. This could be the beginning of the end. But, but. Olsen is not done. He's trying to attack the leg and he's going for that ankle hook again. Does he have it? It doesn't seem like he has it. Gonzalez not quite out of danger. Well, it looks like he might be now. But now, Gonzalez is adding pressure. Cesar has curled up. The referee's right there, right over the action. Landing elbows to the body, to the head, ground and pound. Relentless work, relentless work. He's not stopping. The only person to stop this fight is the ref. Yeah, Olsen's still working though. I have to give it to Olsen, he's surviving. He's definitely surviving. He's surviving the weather. Oh, Gonzalez with another vicious elbow from top from being in the guard, working constantly, not doing enough to let the referee stop, but working, beating, grinding, Olsen out. Staying constant, working, elbows to the body, elbows to the head. The, uh, 10 seconds. Gonzalez has definitely stole that round. That Gonzalez has definitely, definitely won that round. I give that a 10-8 a, a to yeah, Gonzalez. I must agree there. De Gonzalez definitely did dominate that round. Olsen did do a little bit in the beginning of the round, but could not maintain that top position. Ended up taking Gonzalez's back, and Gonzalez was able to reverse the situation and finish that round, str round strong. So uh, I agree, 10-8 in favor of Gonzalez. It's going to be very difficult for him to get a submission. Not impossible to pull off, but very difficult. Looks like Gonzalez got a welt to the left of his uh, his lower right eye. Uh, yeah, lower right eye there. Gonzalez is ready. Yeah. He's saying, let's go. Let's get this baby on the road. Let's see how um, Brandon Olsen answers this third round. Gonzalez coming viciously, not waiting. One, two, straight down the pipe and ending with a leg kick, an inside leg kick. Using his combination well, biding his time. Olsen seems the more fatigued fighter. Cesar Gonzalez. Working, pressuring Olsen to the cage. Looking like the more fit fighter. Yeah, he's definitely the more stronger fighter of the two. Constantly adding that pressure to Olsen. Nice knees to the back of the back of the calf, working. Olsen's looking at the ref, but Cesar, Cesar Gonzalez is working. The ref will not stop this. The ref will not. If he needs to, 
what he needs to do is to break this, break this grip and get out. Looks like uh, Gonzalez has got nice wrist control there on uh, Olsen's right wrist. Working that left leg with those knees to the back of the thigh. Gonzalez controlling that, that right wrist, but now Gonzalez really adding pressure, working with those knees, beating up the legs, elbows to the head, keeping that pressure, not letting also breathe. So far, just a one-sided fight here between these uh, two lightweight fighters. I think Olsen has lost the will to fight, but he's going for a, a submission here. Looks like a knee bar. He's trying, he's trying, he's been going for that all night, trying to get that, that ankle lock. It's too slippery, Gonzalez is too slippery for Olsen to get that, to get that, that. He's not, Gonzalez is not out of danger, but he's in top position. Olsen tried to try to do an up kick. Olsen still trying for that ankle lock. Gave up on it. Cesar Gonzalez remaining in top position. Olsen still trying to get that ankle lock. I think he should abandon this, try to get up, and try to strike. Yeah. At this point, uh, Cesar Gonzalez just moments away from his second. And Cesar is just cruising, trying to realize not to exert too much energy. You know, because he knows he has this fight. Yeah. Putting on an MMA, MMA clinic here tonight against uh, Brandon Olsen. Cesar Gonzalez in top position in side control. Maintaining the dominant position, adding strikes in there. Elbows to the head, punches to the head. Very comfortable winning this fight. Very comfortable in this round, I should say. Brandon Olsen is trying to work from the bottom, but not really having much success. Landing some short, short shots, but that's not enough to win him the fight. That won't be enough to win him the fight. 10 seconds. And Cesar Gonzalez continue to keep that pressure. Olsen is going for an arm bar, but I think it's too late, and it is too late. Last minute, last second desperation attempt for an arm bar there. Unsuccessful. But what a fight, man. What a great, what a great performance by Cesar Gonzalez. Just putting on an MMA clinic there against Brandon Olsen. Dominated all three rounds from start to finish. Um, Brandon Olsen just did not have any answers for the wrestling, grappling, or the stand-up of um, Cesar Gonzalez. Not taking anything from Brandon Olsen. He did a great job. Um, it was just that. At the end of the day, Cesar Gonzalez was just too much for him. Contact Daniel Ortega right, at area code 4083935599. That's if you All like great tasting, authentic Mexican food. A unanimous decision. The cards read as follows: 30 to 27, 30 to 27, and 29 to 28 in favor of the winner. In the red corner, Cesar. Congratulations to Cesar Gonzalez for a phenomenal performance tonight here in the Dragon House Cage, improving his record.